In your book, Jerusalem in the Quran, you say it is written in the Quran that the Jews should reside in the Holy Land. The Quran declares, but you wouldn't know it because the New York Times would not publish it, nor would the Washington Post, nor would CNN broadcast it. That the Quran declares that the Holy Land was given to the Israelite people. Now, would that not be crucially important information? Would it not be, Herman, I'm not hearing you. Oh, yes, Maurice. yes, I was nodding, I was nodding. Yes, Maurice, it's crucially important information. It's shocking. So your audience, your viewing audience out there must be bewildered and baffled. If this is in the Quran, why is it not on the front page of the New York Times? There's an answer why. <laughs> the answer is that the grant of the land was not unconditional. There were conditions attached to the grant of the land. And those were that you must have faith in the one God. You must recognize him as a sovereign. And that you must be righteous in conduct. You can't be a money lender, lending money on interest, <laughs> and be righteous in conduct. Now, every time the Israelites violated the condition, the Lord God debarred them from the Holy Land, threw them out of the Holy Land. And when you ask the Jews, why were we expelled from the Holy Land? They themselves will tell you it was because we violated the covenant. Good. But the Torah says something else. <laughs> Somebody wrote into the Torah that which gave the impression that the Holy Land was granted to the Jews unconditionally. Righteousness was not a condition. So you could be wicked and the land is still yours. You can violate the covenant, the land is still yours. It is still there in the Torah up to today. It is not because of righteousness, says the Torah, that the Lord God gave you this good land to inherit. For you are a stiff-necked people, quote unquote. The writer of those words wishes to convey <laughs> that the Bible is the deed, the title deed of the Holy Land for the Jews. The Zionist movement used it that way. So they cannot defend that, which is in the Torah. And that's why they do not quote the Quran. <laughs> but now the game is up because we have quoted for you from the Quran that in the fifth chapter, Surah Al Ma'idah, Allah declares that the Holy Land was given to the Israelite people. Yes. And when you go to the rest of the Quran, then you learn that it was not given unconditionally. The conditions for the grant of the land were faith in the Lord God and righteous conduct. So are you saying what we're told is written in the Old Testament is, has been altered in time? It was written by someone who wanted to convey the false information that the grant of the land was unconditional, it's yours. Come rain or come sunshine, it's yours. You could almost believe from what you're saying that the Muslims would accept a Jewish Zionist entity if it was righteous. Not a Zionist entity because Zionism 
from day one the day it was born was wicked <laughs> Jews yes Muslims uh, the grant of the land was not unconditional and the grant of the land was not exclusive the Jews have the right to live in the land it's their land but it's not theirs alone <laughs> others who worship the one God also have the right to reside in that holy land okay what will be the power relationship the Quran is, is silent on that whether it'll be a Jewish state which will tolerate non-Jews or so the Quran is silent on that but the fact is the Jews are not the only one who have the right to reside in the Holy Land so Muslims would at any time be prepared to share Jerusalem with Jews and with Christians so we can live together peacefully without any party oppressing the other. <laughs>